Hey guys, so today's video is going to be an Ulta haul. Um, I went to the store because I had a 20% off coupon and um, I actually needed a couple of things. So it was a great excuse to go, especially because I don't have a Ulta like super close to me. And anytime I try to use a coupon code on Ulta.com, it always gives me like this error message. My hair is pissing me off. Um, it gives me an error message when I like go to process the payment and it says like, um, that they can't do it for some reason and then it eats my coupon code and I've called customer service and no one can ever tell me like why this is happening. I'm assuming I can't be the only person in like the entire United States to have this happen to them. Um, I'd be curious to know if this has happened to you. Please let me know below so I'm not like crazy because I literally like it drives me up a wall. I'm on the phone with multiple times with these people. I'll like hang up call somebody back to see if somebody else on the, like the customer service line will give me a different answer um but my like the lamest excuse i've ever gotten was that my billing address and my mailing address aren't the same so that could be like an issue I'm, like pretty sure that it has like nothing to do with it but that's cool so um i went through a phase where i was like i'm not gonna even shop at ulta but you know here i am i can't say no to a 20 percent off coupon so I'm gonna get right into it after you got to listen to that really nice ramble, but they really pissed me off. So, um, uh, the first few products are all gonna be skincare products. This is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose Water. I've always wanted to try it. It's always hyped up on YouTube. Um, I wanna work it into my morning skincare routine just because I've been feeling like my skin's a little bit more dehydrated and this like is supposed to help with that because it smells really nice. Uh, so after I like cleanse my face, I plan to use that after before putting on my moisturizer. And it's only like $7.50, so super worth it. And then the main product that I like really needed to get was this uh, the La Roche Posay Effaclair Duo. It's a dual action acne treatment and it's 5.5% benzoyl peroxide. This is my absolute favorite acne treatment and I was out of it, so I had to go pick up a new one. I usually get like the three, the not the three pack, but the like the acne kit and it has a cleanser, a toner, and the treatment, kind of like proactive. But I really don't like super care for the cleanser. I don't think it's anything special. I suck at using a toner, so that pretty much goes to waste. So I decided I was just gonna pick up the big boy of the treatment, and it's like 1.35 fluid ounces, so it's gonna last you a really long time. Um, I'll link my skincare routine below if you're interested in watching that, because I talk about it, but absolutely holy grail acne product. Um, I got one face mask. Again, if you watch my, I'm eating my hair. I'm just like, this is just ridiculous. Okay. Um, I talked about sheet masks in my skincare routine and how much I love using them. This one I've never tried before. It's the Tony Moly. I think I'm saying that right. Tony Moly Pureness 100 Collagen Sheet Mask. And they had a bunch of different ones, but I love anything to do with collagen. And it looked really interesting. My only complaint is compared to like my Innisfree masks, which I always use, which are like a dollar and 20 cents. This was like seven bucks, kind of pricey for a one-time use, but I don't know, uh, hopefully it works magic on my skin because I need to start incorporating more like collagen moisturizers and things like that, I think just for my lines. And so we'll see how that goes. Um, Another skincare product, I think this is like the last one, is the Earth Therapeutics Super Loofah Exfoliating Body Sponge. It comes with this little plastic pack. And it looks like this. Um, I just ran my loofah I was using before, which I get at Ulta too. It's just like the exfoliating puff. Uh, it's kind of like gross. So I thought I'd get a sponge this time just because it's a little bit bigger and easier to like really exfoliate your body and I feel like with summertime and you know tanning and having dry skin it's nice to have something that's a little bit more a little extra exfoliating so I need to put that back in the shower um I have one hair care product this is the Redken high rise volume du duo volumizer I can talk today uh, it's part cream and then part gel and it just kind of squeezes out like that and I love Redken products and I have really fine hair but I have a lot of hair and I never can get volume at my root if you can tell 
Um, so hopefully this was my miracle product because I'm still trying to find that one product that like gives me major volume. And I'm sorry if I keep looking at myself talking instead of the camera. That's so annoying. Um, I'm using my iPhone again today, so sorry. Um, I got one nail product and it's the OPI Inf Infinite Shine Part 2. Um, this is probably this has become my favorite like nail line. Um, you get you use a base coat, you pick out whatever color you like that's um, part of the shine line, and then they have a uh, step three, which is just like a top coat. But I feel like it really wears a long time on the nails. It doesn't like chip. It more you know wears away. And I feel like I really need to go through all my nail polishes and start weaning things out because I've had you know nail polishes since high college, and that's really disgusting. So. I figure I'm just going to get rid of old gross ones and uh, I'll just kind of slowly, because I don't really do my nails that much, slowly replace them with this line because I love it so much. So this pink is called From Here to Eternity and it's just a really pretty hot pink. I would say it's more like a neutral hot pink. It's not super cool, but it's not like really warm either. Just really, really pretty, especially pretty if you give yourself a pedicure. Okay, so then I picked up two new beauty tools. Uh, the first is just by the Ulta brand, and it's a lash placement tool. And even though I've been wearing fake eyelashes since high school, I still kind of suck with the whole strip lash, especially like getting them down like right here in the corner. Um, I don't know why. That's why I kind of like go towards more like half lashes, but I want to get better. So hopefully that will work. And then I got one uh, It For Ulta brushes, which I love these brushes so, so much. It is the Airbrush Smoothing Foundation brush number 102. And it's just a really small blending brush. And this is what it looks like compared to the Real Techniques brush. It's a little bit smaller, which I kind of like, just so you can, like, it's more concentrated in areas. This is probably my all-time favorite brush for foundation for um, tinted moisturizers CC creams whatever um, so I figure since they're so comparable but this one's a little bit smaller that it should be equally as awesome so I will see how that goes hopefully I always try to find like something better than the real technique brush for some reason and I always go back to it so I'm hoping this is really awesome okay so then the last two products are all makeup products uh, the first is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown, and this was just a repurchase. Um, I like this because it's the point is so small, and it really works to fill in from my arch to uh, like the tail. This is where I kind of have not so much uh, eyebrow hair, so I like to like literally draw on my eyebrow there. But um, I picked this up because I don't like the inner part to be that dark, and I usually use a powder, but thought I'd try something new. So I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil in taupe and it just looks like this and I just thought to kind of just fill in a little bit where it's more sparse and so it just kind of blends nicer I would start using this and um, I've only used it a couple of times but I like it so far and I don't know I feel like with brows it's it's just really fun to try out new products so um, I've been liking that it's a little bit more old school I feel like because it's like a pen so the last two products are by Urban Decay and this is like by no means like a new product it's the Naked 3 palette and I have the first two palettes when they first came out I was like those crazy people that sat and stalked their website and had to be one of the first people to get it before it sold out and I got was probably part of like the first batch for the first two um, and then when the third one came out I was just like I don't really know if I love the colors but should I complete my collection and obviously I opted to not do that but uh, I've been really getting into like rose gold and pink colors so instead of just getting instead of being like a smart person and probably just getting a few here and there I decided to get this entire palette because a lot of the colors I just thought were super pretty and um, I've been loving the Nooner Color Limited and Burnout. These just, I thought they were so pretty for the summertime. Um, I'm not like super in love with like the ones that are a little bit more like chunkier glitter or even like the metallic, but they're just really soft and romantic and I just thought they'd be really pretty. And with the 20% off, I thought, okay, I guess I can kind of justify it. And then the last product is new by Urban Decay. It's one of their Vice lipsticks. 
and I picked up the color Stark Naked, which is a matte. I was on the fence between this one and I think it was Walk of Shame, which was like a sheer pink, but it was so sheer that I was just like, like really should I, like is that kind of a waste of money to get that because I have so many like balms that are probably kind of similar. So I thought this was just a really, really pretty nude. For some reason I was like, when I was in the store, I was like, I think I need a new nude lipstick. Um, so I was swatching a bunch of them and then this one I thought was just the prettiest and kind of what I was looking for that it had the pink and the beige tones in it and it wasn't like too dark and these are really creamy and that's what that looks like. It's just it's a really pretty nude. Alright guys so that's everything that I picked up. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.